Hello and welcome to the SWS Classroom Chat. Today we are going to be discussing the study preparation and revision strategy for the ICSC Class 10 Mathematics paper. And helping us to do that is going to be Ms. Renu Sinha, Senior Mathematics Teacher. Thank you very much for your time, ma'am. I want to ask you first that many students are finding it difficult to complete the paper in the stipulated time of 90 minutes. At least that has been the experience during the many pre-board examinations across schools in India. Why is it that the students are not able to complete their paper? What is it that they are finding it difficult? See, earlier, you know, they used to have one hundred two and a half hours paper. That's right. And they were supposed to, the weightage of the paper used to be 80 marks. Yes. Now, uh, since the COVID period, you know, when the COVID started, the offline exam pattern children forgot the offline exam pattern and actually how seriously they should answer the exam. They missed out that. Mm -hmm. So then there was a gap in between. They had to answer semester one paper and that was MCQ paper. Yes. Now, what I should say when I checked the papers, when I went through the papers, I took several MCQ tests also. Then I realized that actually children are not preparing thoroughly. They just do the guess marks. And in that stipulated time, they were finishing MCQ questions. And that was not actual learning for them. Hmm. That was hardly, you know, I should say 60% children were serious for MCQ 1. I mean, semester 1 paper. Yes. And 40% were not at all serious. Hmm. So. As an outcome, they forgot the basic concept of the questions. Hmm. They missed out the, the subjective questions, how to prepare, how yeah. to answer, how to complete. And that is the reason they are saying that time is not sufficient. Okay, now that the board has not really conceded the request of many students to give more time, a lot more time to the mathematics paper, what should be the strategy given the fact that they need to finish it in 90 minutes? What should the students do now just days before the examination in order to ensure that they complete the paper on time? See, the first thing, they have to practice the test papers. Hmm. At least four to five test papers hmm. and the papers to, uh, to be you know practiced in such a way yeah. that they have to finish the paper in the stipulated time. Yes. And the paper which they are solving hmm. to be opened by them first time. That means they must have the feeling of the examination, examination. that yes. yes, I'm going to answer the paper yeah. and this is the paper. They should not have witnessed the paper beforehand. Hmm. So unless they will have this feeling, hmm. they will not be able to complete the paper in oh. the stipulated time. So, you're so saying, this is my suggestion that... Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so you're saying real time uh, doing the sample papers uh, so that they kind of fix a particular time. This is my 90 minutes, 10 minutes reading time. And they need to have the surprise element that they should not have seen those sample question papers. Exactly. Beforehand. Exactly. So more and more yes. practice like that, you suggest will actually help them being able to finish the paper in time. Yes. Okay. Is it also because students are not kind of going through all the steps and that could be another major problem area because you do get marked for steps also in a subject like mathematics. So uh, they have yes. also lost on, on that kind of practice uh, oh, during this entire COVID period. Yes, exactly. See what in semester one exam, hmm. they were supposed to answer MCQ. Yeah. MCQ. Yes. Now, only yes or no and the right answer. Yes. Now they have developed, developed the habit in such a way hmm. that at this juncture also, they are answering in that way only. Oh. I should give an example. Hmm. Like I, there was a question which I asked in the pre-board exam. Hmm. And the question was, uh, if you say that to the Engl in, in an English alphabet chosen at... A letter of English alphabet hmm. chosen at random hmm. determine the probability that the letter is a consonant. So now 
the children are supposed hmm. to write the number of total possible outcome and the number of favorable outcome yes and then the probability of getting a consonant yes but then the children are in the habit of doing mcq so what they answered yes. they didn't even write the total sample space didn't didn't even write the favorable outcome didn't even write the probability of getting a consonant they just wrote the answer 21 by 26 okay and this is what they missed out the marks so in, if they don't write book yeah uh, no i'm sorry to interrupt in the sense that in a question paper then where there are going to be both mcq based questions as well as the longer format questions how do the students reconcile to what kind of a what kind of an approach to actually embrace to adopt see they have to be very you know to the point and mm. step wise they have mm. to answer step wise okay and then only otherwise they will lose marks in working omission in working o w minus 1 will be done okay. proper steps must be followed must be followed one by one yes yes okay so um in the three days gap that they get between the history civics paper on the 28th of uh, april and the mathematics examination on the 2nd of may what do you suggest every student should do so that their preparation and revision for mathematics is done in a systematic organized and a clinical manner see what should i say that mathematics is not the subject that can be revised in a day or hmm. two hmm. the revision of mathematics or preparation of mathematics should in should be in such a way hmm. that on the exam day students should relaxed rather stressing themselves okay so then what i have realized as a teacher what students should do hmm. for better preparation hmm. see they must there must be consistent you know revision hmm. they have to have proper revision hmm. not only that they have to have a notes right from sum number 1 to sum number last sum the entire sum should be done in the fair copy hmm. apart from that the main point hmm. the pre- the points like if i'm talking about reflection so hmm. in reflection what has to be done hmm. when the reflection is along x axis hmm. what is the invariant point hmm. what is the reflection along the origin hmm. so what how the coordinates hmm. get affected hmm. so that must be you know written in that notes yes so people Very say important. that no maths is not kind of not that kind of thing that notes is required no hmm. of course notes is de- required hmm. of course you must have the you know concept hmm. concept is there hmm. but then you have you must know how to proceed hmm. apart from the concept hmm. you must know how to proceed hmm. if i'm talking about statistics hmm. then you have to know how to find out the average value but simultaneously you have to know that how to proceed in step deviation method so That's here right. the notes is required so simultaneously the concept as well as the the notes what right. steps then what after right. this which step yeah uh, that ma'am, is very very important yeah in your experience during the pre board examinations at your school among your students i mean just to take them as a sample uh, what were the common mistakes that they were making or mistakes even made by your senior by the senior students who have passed out previous last 3 4 years what are the common mistakes that they make which the students of this batch of 2022 should look to avoid uh normally uh we talk about the circle sums mm. when they uh, you know they are doing geometry so mm. there is a lot of practice required for geometry yes so they are you know losing marks over there mm. because uh, in 
even we talk about uh, mensuration conversions mm. are there suppose yes. uh, uh, radius is there in centimeter and height is in meter mm. now children do not uh, you know these Unworthy. first 15 minutes they do not concentrate mm. my suggestion is that they should use a pencil they just underline mm. that conversion is required at this point of time okay. and in fact they must write the converted value also okay in the same units okay so at these places hmm. most of the children lose marks okay so you are suggesting that in the initial 10 minutes they should use that to kind of prepare yeah. the ground yeah. prepare the ground for their yes. paper uh, which starts yeah. after complete, that complete yeah ground work should be done in yes. these Yes. you know 15 minutes which are given for reading yeah yeah among among the uh, different chapters what particular chapters do you suggest that the students need to focus on where more number of mistakes are committed by the students see uh, you know i will i have done some analysis of the paper hmm. and uh, the sample paper which was provided by the council yes and then uh, i have uh, done some you know taken out some conclusions hmm. and uh, i would suggest that which all chapters uh, maybe the children those who are more concerned they might have done the done the analysis but they are lacking in time so i thought that this is the time when i can convey the analysis so that it can help yes, them that will be useful. so now what i yeah so what i have done you know i have taken as group 1 as coordinate geometry which hmm. has three sub topics reflection hmm. equation of straight line and the midpoint uh, section formula then yes. we have geometry hmm. in geometry we have circles hmm. mensuration we have cylinder and pole yeah then we have trigonometry in which we have trigonometrical identities and we yeah. have height and distance and in statistics we have measures of central tendency and the sixth one is our probability yeah so when i analyze the paper hmm. so what i realized section a was completely mcq so then in mcq there are i have noticed that there are 11 sub topics and out of these 11 sub topics there are the questions were asked from all 10 sub topics so that okay. means to answer mcq hmm. you have hmm. to prepare all Every the topics yes. thoroughly yes yes so you are being tested on everything Yes, you have to have the mastery on each and yes. every chapter yes, if you want important. to fetch hundred uh, percent. Yes. Then, when we come to section B, hmm. in section B there were fifty marks, means hmm. five questions were there, hmm. and uh, each question was carrying, you know, uh, ten marks. Hmm. And out of these five, children were supposed uh, to answer three. Three. Yeah. So then uh, section A, 10 marks and section B, 30 marks, 30 marks. So total 40 marks paper. Yeah. So then further, further analysis, what I did hmm. in question two, hmm. the question was pertaining to, uh, to coordinate hmm. and then section one, which was coordinate. Hmm. Then section two, which I have categorized at my level, section hmm. two is geometry for me. Yeah. Then it was from four, which is trigonometry, and hmm. then from six, hmm. which was probability. Then in again in three, you will see two, three, four, five. Hmm. Again in four, you will see one, one, three, five. Hmm. Again in five, you will see one, two, four, five. Hmm. And again in question six, one, four, five, six. Hmm. So when we sum up all together, hmm. I have you know calculated that uh, we have 12 marks total question from coordinate geometry, seven marks total from geometry, five marks total from mensuration, hmm. 11 marks from trigonometry, hmm. and 11 marks from statistics hmm. and rest four marks from probability out of 50. Yeah. So you can uh, see that the highest marks hmm. questions were asked from the coordinate geometry. Geometry. Yes. So coordinate geometry and at second level, I put statistics. Yes. Coordinate is also 
not that difficult of yes. course if you know the base nothing is difficult yes again when when we talk about statistics it's mm -hmm. too easy as i told you you have to know these steps yes of course the concept mm -hmm. that how to calculate and then you have to know these steps yes calculations are very simple and mm -hmm. what has to be done how you have to proceed there is a particular way mm -hmm. in statistics if i tell you how to find the mean how mm -hmm. to find the median mm -hmm. there is this you know a uh, a proper path that you have to move this way yes to answer it yes so if they and do this ultimately yeah so if they yeah. do this analysis with the help of this analysis they will get an idea about what chapters they need to focus on a little more given the weightage of that particular chapter in the examination paper mm. yes exactly right okay this is uh, this is very useful so you are saying that uh, would these chapters also be those where more mistakes are committed by the students where they are probably not so well prepared would the same uh, account I yeah mean... yeah yeah uh, especially in ujjayi when they mm. were drawing the ujjayi they yeah. were not writing they don't know what will be the first point of the ujjayi hmm the lower limit of first class hmm. with zero hmm that is will be the first point of the ujjayi hmm then the upper limit of every class with corresponding ca hmm. will be the other points of the ujjayi okay. so mostly children are just reversing it hmm. even they don't know how to start hmm. from where the ujjayi will start hmm. they have mistaken by not drawing the kink marks also they have mistaken by not doing the conversions also hmm. so at these places they have you know missed out the lost the marks okay great thank you so much for you know explaining this in so much of detail and i'm sure the students would gain from this kind of micro details that you have given out here and plan their uh, strategy accordingly in order to ensure that they do manage to get a 40 on 40 and more importantly as you said the tips in order to ensure that they manage to complete the paper in the first place that of course is the first major challenge for many students even if they know sometimes they miss out on finishing the paper on time and of course revision very important during the revision when i say revision revision of the paper in the last 5 to 10 minutes if they manage to get the time do they do a quick recalculation of many of the questions answers how do you suggest they should do that last 5 to 7 minutes of revision of the paper quick revision no no in these 5 to 7 minutes calcul calculation is not possible but just each and every step is done Okay. whether they have suppose if they have to write correct to two decimal places whether they have done it correctly yes. or not yes. so just to check the answers hmm. at a go in very quickly quickly they should do so that. revision is very very essential okay okay yes last sir, five course. minutes must yes. be used for this revision yes thank you very much for your time ma'am uh, for sparing the time and helping the students out here uh, much obliged thank you very much my best wishes to all icsc students those who are answering mathematics paper yes. may god bless them yes and stay safe yes. and stay blessed thank you very much ma'am thank you